It's all on our personal opinion, and it should also be limited if it is legal. So having a certain age or certain requirements before you can get it is probably a good limitation. So say like for gun controls again, you need say gun licensing, you know. Uh, so if you're able to handle it, then they give you some kind of licensure to handle marijuana, and based on that, we can probably have it legalized, again, with more limitations. Of the various uh, pros it has over alcohol, um, I think it would be a great industry overall to have nationwide, and in Texas, you know, there would be uh, a great opportunity. Um, I, for one, um, know a lot of people that use uh, for medical reasons and recreational and you know the stereotype uh, isn't isn't as as bad as they make it seem you know a lot of people in college or professionals uh, you know they use marijuana and and get their stuff done sometimes even in faster or better than, than people who don't use um, I, I feel like people have to break that stereotype and get over the idea that that because you're a user you're a drug addict or, or whatnot uh, well, I think I've witnessed it in other states so far, and I think it's been a pretty good thing um, as far as at least decriminalization is concerned. Um, and then with legalization, we also have a lot more potential for uh, uh, tax income and uh, taxable usage of marijuana. Uh, I'm personally a, an athlete, so I don't have any ability or interest in partaking in usage of that, but I could see why other people would. And um, I've got, I know plenty of people who do. I mean, I'm in college. And um, I've seen the way drinking affects people and the way smoking affects people. And I don't see enough of a difference between the two that one should be illegal and one shouldn't be. Um, they're both just different vices for different people.